even though the Chicago Bears have been eliminated from playoff contention, they still have to finish out the regular season just like everybody else who did not make the playoffs. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Tall back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL. And yes, that is right. I'm here to give you guys my preview and my prediction for the Bears' last regular season game. Which, of course, as we know now, is a meaningless game because the Bears are eliminated from playoff contention. So you guys might be asking, Fives, why are you doing this? This game means nothing. And here's the thing, folks. I get it. It doesn't. But you know what? I promise you guys I would do a preview and prediction for every single Bears game. And I'm going to go ahead and hold to that promise. I don't like to leave things incomplete. So we're going to go ahead and get the job done and finish out and close out the regular season as disappointing as it may be. Now, it might not as be as long of a preview as my other videos are, uh, but I will still do one right now. So with that being said, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, you guys. It helps me out a lot when you support the channel. I'm trying to hit 10K. Follow me on my social media as well, Twitter and Instagram. Links down below and on the screen, trying to hit 1K on that. So really would appreciate it if you guys help me hit these milestones. So with that being said, Bears play the Vikings this week. Let's talk about the game. Let's talk about what we can at least look for, even if it is a meaningless game, because I'm pretty sure the Bears starters are still going to play. So let's get started. So here's the thing, folks. Usually I'm doing my whole analysis on the keys for the game and what the Bears need to do to win. And quite frankly, I'm not going to do that here because, again, it doesn't mean much and the Bears don't really care for the game. And the Vikings don't care for the game, okay? Because the Vikings, after losing to the Packers last week, they're locked into the number six seed no matter what. So they could legitimately rest their starters, which I believe they will. For sure, their running backs and Dalvin Cook and Alexander Madison, who are already banged up. They didn't play last week. So on the Vikings side of the ball, they're going to rest their guys. It makes no sense for them to play their starters with them having a playoff spot locked up. Now, for the Bears, they're going to play for pride. They're 7-8. and eight. They're going to try to close out the season and finish at least 500. Um, there's a lot of milestones and incentives built in to records and whatnot you guys might not be aware of, but for coaches, for players, etc. So they are absolutely going to um, try to win in this game, and I'm talking about the Bears. The Vikings, not so much. They don't care. They're on to the playoffs. They want to just have their guys as healthy as possible. So, I always save my prediction for the end, right? Well, here's my thing. I believe the Bears will win this game, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and say it right now because, like I said, the Bears are going to want this game more. They're going to want to get to 8-8 eight and eight just because it looks better, much better than 7-9. and nine. Again, a losing record versus a 500 record. The other thing being the fact that, again, the Bears are going to be playing for more pride than the Vikings are, okay? So you're playing the Bear starters versus the Vikings backups. Now, I don't think the veteran players are going to play for the Bears like Akeem Hicks, guys like that who could play, but we know that we don't need them to, and it's a meaningless game. We can save them for next season. But as far as the other guys, like I think Mitch absolutely plays Allen Robinson, Anthony Miller, like pretty much all of the big dogs still play in this game. So it's a Vikings team, again, with the backups, I don't really need too much analysis here. You're playing at Minnesota. It's on the road. So I, like I said, I think the Bears win this game. Would it shock me if they somehow lost to the backup of the Minnesota Vikings or if the Vikings did play their starters, in fact? No, it wouldn't shock me. But like I said, that's where I'm at. Uh, but as far as what I'm looking for in this game, not too much. Honestly, I mean, it'd be nice to get... A, a solid game from Mitch. It'd be nice to get a good play calling game from Matt Nagy. It'd be nice to get a nice game from David Montgomery. Maybe see some running holes finally. But uh, not looking for really too much, folks. If they come out and completely disappoint, won't you know? Be surprised if they come out and you know light the field on fire and score a bunch of points and they put up thirty on the Vikings. Won't be surprised either way. So again. I don't have any expectations for the Bears in this one, okay? We already know what a disappointing season it has been for them. And believe you me, I'm going to be making a lot of videos in the offseason about 
the Bears and what they need to do to improve the roster overall. Trust me. I know that's something you guys absolutely want to talk about. You guys want to talk about it right now. Trust me, I, I'm going to make those videos. So you're going to want to go ahead and absolutely stay subscribed for that. So, uh, again, no expectations for me in this game. Like I said, it's going to be very short. I, I don't even want to talk about the analysis because I know you guys won't care as much. But really just looking for whatever I can see in this game from the Bears. But I do believe the Bears starters will play in this game. And I don't believe the Vikings starters will play in this game. Okay, that's just what it comes down to. But overall, man, a disappointing season for Mitch Trubisky. A disappointing season for Matt Nagy. A uh, disappointing season for really everybody on the Bears outside of Allen Robinson, who is the best and most consistent player on the Bears roster the entire season. Yes, that's right, even over Khalil Mack. I believe Anthony Miller had a decent season, definitely a better second half. Um, and he has sort of solidified himself as our number two option in the receiving game. And David Montgomery had a decent to okay rookie season where we can definitely see the talent. And we know if we open up some running lanes for him that he is going to absolutely be a solid running back. But other than that, I mean, that's it in terms of players that you thought took a step forward this year or had a great season. I mean, on the defense side of the ball, Roquan Smith was phenomenal before he got hurt. Uh, so like I said... Nick Kwiatowski, maybe a couple of guys like that, but that's it, folks. It's been a disappointing season for the Bears. So like I said, trust me, I will make a video documenting what I have in terms of the Bears offseason plans. But as far as this game, folks, it, it doesn't really mean much. It's football. We're going to watch it. But point being to you is I'm not going to be surprised either way. In fact, let me know what you guys are looking for in this game. Do you want to see anything? Is there anything that you guys are actually like trying to find out in this game? Because to me, whatever opinion you have about the Bears and the players, the coaches, whether it be Mitch, Matt Nagy, etc., I believe your opinions won't change just based on this game, right? I don't think it will, but again, let me know. So leave a comment down below if you are looking for something in particular in this game. I have the Bears winning mainly because I believe the Vikings will rest their starters. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below uh, with your thoughts. If you guys do like this video, man, please give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe as always. Thanks for watching.